Welcome to your Unit 1 Elements and Principles video lesson. In this lesson, we will be looking at artist Kara Walker and her influence on contemporary art in America. She is also featured in the Hughes Museum of Fine Arts. It doesn't matter if you're writing your name, drawing a stick figure, doing math problems, or creating an amazing masterpiece, you're going to use at least one or two of these elements. These include line, value, shape, form, space, texture, and of course, color. Because what would the world be like if there wasn't a little color in it, right? When we're talking about artwork, the elements are the what, what do you see? Okay, what does this make you feel? And the principles are how we use the elements. Do we line them up together? Do we put them randomly around the paper or canvas? Make them big or small? Do we make elements line up straight and stack? Do we overlap elements? Um, that's what the principles are. And they're really easy and fun to learn. For example, if I'm using line, I can make lines small, big, long, short, fat, round, curvy, wavy, thick, thin, dotted. So there's many variations of lines I can use. That's the elements. The elements are what? Then the principles are how we use these elements. So how am I using this wavy line? Am I going to repeat it a bunch of times? Am I going to stack different sizes of lines in front of each other to create an effect of space? Space is also a what? Space is an element. The effect is that I'm repeating it, so that's our principle. The more you practice with elements and principles, the more you get into your work, the easier it is to understand how these things work together. Now let's take a look at our featured artist, Kara Walker. Kara Elizabeth Walker is an American contemporary painter, silhouettist, printmaker, installation artist, and filmmaker who explores race, gender, sexuality, violence, and identity in her work. She is best known for her room-sized tableaus of black cutout paper silhouettes. What is a tableau, you ask? A tableau is a group of models or motionless figures representing a scene from a story or from history. A tableau vivant. What is an idiom? An idiom is a phrase or expression that typically presents a figurative, non-literal meaning attached to the phrase. But some phrases become figurative idioms while retaining the literal meaning of the phrase. Categorized as formulaic language, an idiom's figurative meaning is different from the literal meaning. You guys may have heard of this expression, it's raining cats and dogs. That's an idiom. Now it's time to get started. Here's some materials that you'll need, a sketchbook, a ruler if you have one, a pencil, a black marker, and something to add color or details. So we're going to start by folding our paper hot dog style, unfold it, then use our ruler and our pencil to draw along that line. Then we're going to draw three separate lines going horizontal across our paper. Then we're going to go back across all the lines we made with a black marker. Now in the first box, we're going to write the seven elements of art going to be our title box. The following boxes are going to have each one of the elements in each box. You're going to write the name of the element in the box, draw an example of the element, and fill up the box. So for example, lines are wavy, curved, straight, zigzag. Remember to fill in the box with as many examples as you can. Make sure when you are coloring this that you want to color in completely. We don't want any white spots on the paper. And then you turn the page and you restart this whole process again, but this time using your principles of design. You can start and stop this video as much as you need to and pause it if you need to as well. To recap, name the seven elements of art. I'll give you guys a hint. 
That is the answer to your exit ticket.